find me. Fine, I will tell you my story, Blue. And at the end of it, if you still wish to fight me, then so be it. It all started on that one horrible day. The day of the fire. That was the day that I was left alone in this world. My mom, my dad, my brother. I had lost everything. My family didn't have much, and what we did have was burnt up in that flame. But I am a survivor, you see. From there, I moved from foster home to foster home, meeting new families and playing them for suckers. I was constantly on the move. If I ever stuck in one place for too long, I started to have nightmares of my old home, my old family, and the fires that swept them all away. Because of my tendency to move around, the school systems didn't know what to do with me. I decided on my own to drop out. From there, I became something of a street rat, robbing what I could from rich passerby, enough to survive, and perhaps a little more. My sticky fingers made me something of a legend on the streets, and I quickly gained some new friends. Dangerous friends. We had a solid crew going, but as our power grew, so did that of our rivals. From pickpocketing to vandalism, we were always competing against each other over territory. And to make matters even more complicated, their leader and I, a strong, beautiful woman by the name of Violet, quickly fell in love. Eventually, she even became my wife. Hold up, you were married? Like I said, there are things about my past you didn't know about. Our romance was done in secret to not anger either side. But eventually, there was too much to hide. My wife had become pregnant, and we both decided, there and then, that we needed out of the game for good. So we ran away from it. We had gotten good at it after all, running away from life. A year had passed, and my wife gave birth to a beautiful baby girl. We didn't have much after leaving it all behind, but we had each other. We could finally start over. Unfortunately, life had other plans for us. One day, my wife's old group caught up to her as she was buying groceries. They didn't take kindly to what they called deserters, and decided to teach her a lesson. She didn't come home that night, or any night after. She was gone, and I was left alone with our daughter. Without my wife's help, I lost my way again. Turned back to a life of petty crime, all in an effort to provide. It was all I knew. I tried to keep my second life from my daughter, but as she grew older, I think she started to suspect her dear old dad wasn't as good of a guy as she thought. Nevertheless, we managed to eke out a humble life for ourselves, even as I struggled to make ends meet. That is, until the day before my daughter's 10th birthday. It was at this time that I first heard the name Rainbow Friends. Apparently, it was all the rage amongst my daughter's classmates. I knew there was no way I could afford to take her there, and I told her as much. She understood. But I could tell deep down that she was disappointed. I resolved to myself that if I couldn't bring her to the Rainbow Friends, then I could bring the Rainbow Friends to her. That night, I made my way to the play place. The place looked abandoned, completely run down. Regardless, I busted in and started my search. There had to be some sort of dolls or other merch I could grab for her. My search took me deep into the play place. And all the while, I was being watched. I finally made my way to what looked like a laboratory when I saw it. I saw a man being turned into a monster for the first time. I only caught a glimpse, but it was enough. The man who had become red was standing there, laughing, as a larger man was twisted and mutated into becoming who we now know as Orange. It was the most terrifying sight I ever laid eyes on. When it was over, I couldn't help it. I screamed. Red turned to face me, and I'll never forget what he said. Ah, do you want to become my friend too? I ran, but I didn't know where I was going, whereas he knew the facility like the back of his hand. So I ducked into a vent. I sat there in the darkness for a moment until I heard a faint flicker to life. I turned, only to come face to face with the man once more. 
mill. I woke up strapped to a table with Red standing over me. He was holding a binder full of pictures of me, my wife, and my daughter. My, my, what a tragic life you've led up to this moment, my friend. I am truly sorry. Can it? You're no friend of mine. Tampa, Tampa, relax. I'm going to offer you a deal, and I highly suggest that you take it. He spoke of a contract between the two of us. He would provide for my daughter, making it so that she would never want for anything in this world ever again. He had a plan to get his riches back to accomplish this, and how I would play a key role in it. Of course, he explained. In order for this plan to succeed, my daughter could never know what happened to me. I knew I could never provide for her. I was nothing but a low-life thief. And so, I accepted the terms. It was over in a flash. I might have screamed, but I can hardly remember. Before I knew it, my limbs had grown long and gangly, and my skin became purple. I...